Hey, good morning. Good morning to you. I hope you're enjoying the sunrise. I had to zoom in on it. I had to focus in on it. And that's my question to you. Let me see if I'm, oh, there we go. Happy Thursday. Really, really excited about today. I'm traveling somewhere. I'll be sharing with you later where. Uh, and uh, I have a really, really exciting day scheduled for tomorrow. And you'll be seeing, if you're tuning in, you'll be seeing all about that. But right now, all I need to do is focus. What happened when we focus, let's show you the sunrise. This is kind of my picture. And it looks way further away from the camera here, but it looks way closer in real person. But you see, you can't really see, you can't really see the sunrise, right? Good morning to you. Maybe you don't have access to the sunrise in the morning to see it like I do. Maybe you live on the West Coast and you can see the sunset. Um, but here, what, what happens? You can't really see it well. What did I need to do? I needed to just zoom in so that I could focus. Now, look, it's a little bit bigger. Isn't that the truth? What happened when I focused in on it? What happened when I zoomed in on the sunrise? It got bigger. What I got, well, maybe not as clear because my camera's not nearly as good when I go up closer, but think of it this way. What you focus on grows, right? It gets bigger. What you focus on, that's my, that's my uh, encouragement for you this morning is what you focus on grows. So now, if you focus on depression, if you focus on fear and anxiety, if you focus on what you don't have in your life, if you focus on the things that aren't going well, if you focus on the laziness that maybe you've been over the last maybe couple of months or couple of years, if you focus on the weight that you don't see on the scale, if you focus on the exercise that you're not going to do today, if you're focusing on all of the things that are stressful in your life right now, guess what? Guess what? It's gonna grow, right? It's gonna grow. Well, maybe today could be the day that you focus on all of the blessings. Maybe you can focus on the fact that you have another day. Today, you woke up. Maybe it's not the best day. Maybe it's not the best season. But guess what? God gave you another day to live, to breathe, and to do something. Maybe today is the day that you do something different. Maybe today is the day that you take action. Maybe today is the day you get off the fence of indecisiveness. One of the most challenging and, and probably for my own, my own path in my own life was having the indecisiveness. And I remember when I started to be more decisive and started to take massive action and started to not wait until timing is perfect. Guess what? It was imperfect action, but guess what? It was action and guess what happened when I started to take imperfect action? I started to focus more, which is crazy. And it's one thing having a learning disability. Let me just share with you a little bit of my history, just real quick. I found out in college, it took actually being, um, being uh, the dumb one to schedule, I say the dumb one, the dumb one to schedule like 18 credit hours. And I realized no matter how much I studied, no matter how much time I spent in the library, I was not doing well in school and I didn't realize at the time this took up until when I was about 20 years old that I found out I had a learning disability. I found out I had an attention, uh, not an att was not an attention deficit, not ADD. It was a uh, auditory processing uh, disorder and I actually got tested for it. I thought I was like, just, I don't know. I thought maybe somebody, maybe I fell on my head too many times as a kid, fell down the staircase. I don't know what it was. But the, the funny thing is, is that here I am, 20 years old, finding out for the very first time that I had a learning disability. Now, what happened with that, the problem that happened with that is, I didn't know what to do. Like, I didn't know how to focus. I remember one time, even in the school, because the college professors thought I was just trying to get an advantage because I needed a note taker and I needed to take my exams in a quiet space because that was just part of what actually worked better for me. So here I was. So here I was in a classroom, I'll never forget, and I took my first exam, my first college exam in a quiet, separate room, and guess what happened? The, the professor forgot that I was in the room and he left the whole class. I couldn't come out of the room because they thought I'd maybe be cheating. So I came out of the room and out of the class. And actually, I came out and there was nobody there. Everybody had gone home, the professor had gone home, everybody went home. It was kind of crazy. So <laughs> I got left in the classroom and, uh, and I was like, you know what? It was crazy. So I realized at that point 
A, I'm going to have to move forward. I'm going to have to still take action. If I want to get a degree in physical therapy, I'm going to take indecisive action, even if it wasn't indecisive. I was going to take decisive action, but I was going to take imperfect action. And today, the way to focus, don't worry. Don't wait till it's till things have to be perfect. Things are never going to be perfect. The timing is never going to be right. Uh, it, it's, it's truly a freedom when you can realize that you can take action even when it's imperfect. And that's my hope for you on this Thursday. On this Thursday morning, you got less than half a year left. Have you been waiting to take action because you're waiting for all the timing to be perfect? Like, have you been waiting to start taking better care of your health because the timing is off? The problem with you and me is time is running out. This time on earth is precious. It is quick. I got, a, I got one of our students, one of our kids is going off to college in a couple of weeks. That blows me away. It means time is running out. Time is going by quick. And if you end up just sitting around waiting for the right timing to take action, you're never going to be able to focus. It's going to be, it's going to be terrible. You're going to go through life and then you're going to come to the end or maybe when things are just way too far gone and you're going to say to yourself like, why did I wait? Like there's a lot of people that come into, into uh, my coaching program and, and they really wish and they say, Mark, I really wish I didn't wait so long to get the help that I needed to get this weight off. I really wish I didn't waste so much time, effort, resources, taking the wrong steps towards trying to lose weight through dieting, yo-yoing, quick fixes, right? I see some of you, don't get me wrong, I see some of you trying to make a business out of uh, some sort of shake or supplement. I hear y'all are trying to reach out to me, trying to sell me on this next greatest you know, home opportunity, home business opportunity. Have at it, that's cool. But I'm telling you what, it's not a solution. It's not a solution. The solution is to keep taking action steps, keep learning. When you move forward in your health, you're going to have times where you feel like you messed up, you screwed up, right? And you're gonna feel like times that you're not focused. And, and you know what, that's okay. The reality is how do, you, how do you have the ability to focus? Well, you realize what didn't work and you do something to change it. The only way if you're going to make change in your life, yes, you have to focus, but if you keep focusing on the wrong things, guess what? You're never gonna get into focus on what you really need. So here, here's what I'll have for you today. It's Thursday, right? What's the date? The 16th, 16th of July. Maybe today the first thing you can do is to change your focus. Check out the sunrise. Look, the sun's already up. I've been talking long enough for the sun came up from the beginning of this video and it's all, all the way up that far. Look, time is still going by. It's coming and it's going. The sun's coming up. It's gonna be, it's gonna go up and up and up and up and up and up and over. And then it's gonna end over here. It's gonna end over here tonight on the other side and another day is gonna go by and you're not gonna maybe take the action steps. You're not gonna focus and another day is gonna be wasted. I hope it's not. I hope you're able to learn how to get focused even if it's imperfect focus. Here, change your focus, people. That's what we need to do. I hope this message found you well. And listen, I am Mark Avens, your Bulletproof Christian Fitness Mentor. I have a free Facebook group. I don't know if you heard about it yet. It's called the Bulletproof Fit Christians Over 40 Facebook group. If you're not in there, get in there. It's awesome. We got a contest we're doing. Um, I'm also giving away 10,000 in cash and prizes. You didn't know about it yet. Maybe you haven't been on Facebook for a while, but I'm doing a 12 week transformation contest, calorie free calorie free transformation contest. It's called the Summer Slim Down. You want information, just shoot me a message or drop down below in the comments. Summer Slim Down and let's take care of it. Let's focus and let's make the next six months of this year the best six months of the year. And maybe who knows, maybe the next best six years of your life. How about that? Take care. God bless.